beautiful highland scapes, breathtaking coastlines, and memories you will cherish forever. Whatever you can imagine, this amazing country has it all. From the amazing legends of old to the mysterious monsters that may or may not exist, experience the epic adventure with so much to do in this amazing country. So you might just be wondering, where are the best places to visit here? And we're here to answer those questions with the best places to visit in Scotland. So buckle in your seatbelts, get ready for an adventure to Scotland. 10. Orkney With 70 islands, including 20 that are inhabited, is the Orkney Islands, an archipelago off the northern coast of Scotland. It has some of the most well-preserved and oldest Neolithic sites in Europe, the prehistoric Ring of Brodgar, a circle of stone formations allegedly used in rituals, is definitely a must-see. The islands are a good place to see the really cute wildlife like the seals and puffins, and a good option to see a variety of local art in galleries and museums. The capital Kirkwall is the largest town in the islands. Nine, Glasgow. Being the largest city in Scotland, Glasgow dates back to prehistoric times. The largest seaport in Britain and was once an important hub for shipbuilding and trade with the North American continent. Discover historic medieval buildings such as the Glasgow Cathedral and the Old Antonine Wall. Glasgow is certainly a shopaholic's paradise with over 1,500 stores to tempt your wallets and a variety of sporting events to give everyone a good time. The city also boasts amazing parks and museums, and even easy access to the Scottish Highlands and many of the other islands. 8. Eileen Donan The location where at the point the three locks meet, Eileen Donan is truly blessed when it comes to breathtaking scenery. While the original castle is thought to have been built on the small island sometime in the 13th century, the current romanticized and reimagined reincarnation only dates back to the 20th century. Although its crumbling gray walls and undistinguished features may not look quite as impressive as many other castles, the gorgeous surroundings that cover the perimeter of the Eileen Donan is what really sets it apart from the rest, having been featured in countless films and television shows over the decades. The Eileen Donan is certainly one of the most famous and recognizable castles in the whole of Europe. 7. St. Andrews Although St. Andrews is most well known for being the location of the third oldest university in the English-speaking world, the town is an amazing destination in itself. With historic sites dotted throughout its streets, on the coast where there's the spectacular clifftop ruins of the 13th century St. Andrews Castle, complete with dungeons and secret passageways. There's even the now ruined 12th century cathedral which was the largest church ever built in Scotland. 6. Loch Lomond and the Trossachs Whether it's the tranquil waters of Loch Lomond or the forest-filled realms of the Trossachs, this national park is a magical experience just waiting for you to discover them. The lake contains more than 30 islands, including the largest freshwater island in the British Isles. Back in 2002, it was combined with the Trossachs, a small woodland glen, to make the Loch Lamont and Trossachs National Park. Outdoor activities are plenty, beginning with fishing, golf, and easy walks, and ending with camping, bicycling, and climbing. Five, Stirling. 
with an amazingly strong position atop a mighty crag, Sterling's beautifully preserved medieval town is this treasure trove of historic sites. And cobbled with streets winding up to the ramparts of its magnificent castle, which offer views for miles around. Clearly visible is the brooding Wallace Monument, a strange Victorian Gothic creation honoring the legendary freedom fighter of Braveheart fame. Nearby is the Bannockburn, the scene of Robert the Bruce's pivotal triumph over the English in 1314. Four, Glencoe, one of Scotland's best-known destinations for its glens and valleys. Glencoe is stunningly beautiful in its sometimes harsh environment. Located just 16 miles south of Fort William, Glencoe is nestled between velvety green hills and mountains, and their tops often blanketed in clouds. And as you travel through this U-shaped valley, be sure to be on the lookout for the monument commemorating the 1692 massacre, where the government forces ambushed the McDonald's. Beyond the small village of Glencoe, at the western end of the valley, the glen itself is virtually uninhabited and provides an outstanding experience of both climbing and walking. Three, Sky. Undoubtedly the most famous of Scotland's innumerable islands, the irresistible Isle of Skye boasts a lot of breathtaking scenery with majestic mountains and phenomenal views wherever you look. The largest and most northerly of the Inner Hebrides, it's situated just off the western coast of Scotland and is actually connected to the mainland by a bridge. As it's normally shrouded in mist, its dramatic landscapes look all the more mystical, with breathtaking photo ops just waiting to be had with the craggy peaks, rock formations, and sea stacks. 2. Edinburgh Set on this breathtaking spot overlooking the sea, Edinburgh is one of the United Kingdom's most beautiful cities. Moody and magical in equal measure, with its grand Georgian buildings, Gothic churches, and of course, the Edinburgh Castle. Adventure your way atop the rocky hills and craggy cliffs. This epic landscape that makes it so magical to explore and adventure, and with the lively Royal Mile, attracting plenty of travelers due to its many cafes, shops, and restaurants. Edinburgh is a city famous for its many festivals, including the Fringe, the world's largest international arts festival, and the military tattoo. 1. Loch Ness most travelers visit Loch Ness with one thing in mind. They want to see Nessie, the monster of the lake and the legendary lady of the lake. Travelers will most likely not see the Loch Ness monster though, but a cruise on the lake is a fun and interactive way to search. Loch Ness is actually quite deep, more than 750 feet deep in some places, offering plenty of hiding places for Nessie so don't hold your hopes too high. It's also quite huge, holding more fresh water than all the lakes in England and Wales combined. Take a stroll along the lake or visit the ruins of Urquhart Castle on the western shore and just be amazed of what Loch Ness has to offer. There's an endless list of destinations, activities, and experiences everywhere in Scotland. Each and every journey will always fill you with something different and unique. Were there any other traveler destinations we haven't mentioned? Comment down below and we'll be sure to check them out. What are you waiting for then? Gather your travel buddies, buckle in your seatbelts, and get ready for an adventure. And with that, 
until next time.